Hello guys and welcome back. Now this week we're going to be making the British classic bread pudding. Now when someone says bread pudding to me, all I remember is walking into my great nan's house on a Saturday morning, you get smacked in the face with the smell of nutmeg and cinnamon. And you think to yourself, it's about to go down. Because you know, later that afternoon, you're going to be munching on a lovely bit of bread pudding covered in sugar so good to your teeth now this recipe that i'm going to be showing you is actually my mum's recipe that she passed down to me the recipe works best if you have stale and dry bread if you don't have any stale and dry bread go down to your supermarket look in the discount section you should get a bit of bread a pack of bread that should be about near enough a day left on its date leave it out on the side open for a day you've got stale bread 20 p's worth now you are going to get a bit messy making this because you do have to mulch it together with your hands. So if you've got long nails, yeah, get a nail brush. Now I'm not going to be just using stale bread. I'm going to be using stale pastries, like croissants, pan of chocolat, even some stale bagels. Because it just gives it that little lift that's what you need. Any stale pastries will do really. Just make sure it's about one or, two, one or two days old. Don't want them too old. Right guys, so I've got 800 grams of stale pastries cross onto my bread I put it with 500 mils of milk 500 mils of water I've left it to soak for an hour and I'm just mixing it all together make sure it's all broken down there's no really hard bits and it's on the bite into hard bit ideally you can leave it overnight to soak up but this should just be a quick one so you can knock it out in an hour now to this what you want to add is 50 grams of dark brown sugar and 50 grams with white granulated sugar. Put a bit of boiling water in so it dissolves. So you don't want really gritty sugar in your bread pudding. Then chuck that in as well. Mix it all together. God, that is so sweet already. Now also in that sugar and water solution, with three tablespoons of lemon juice. It doesn't have to be fresh lemon juice. You can use the one from the bottle to keep in your fridge. Now to this you want to add three freshly cracked and beaten eggs. Mix all that in nicely and make sure it's all cooperated properly. And then once all that is nice and mixed together, I've got 100 grams of melted butter. Pour that in. Mix all that together as well. Right, and then the final thing, once that's all mixed in as well, it's so simple. Right, let's put them over the side first. What about half a bag? About 250 grams of dried mixed fruit. Now, I understand that not everyone likes, it's more than half a bag, but not everyone likes dried mixed fruit, sultanas and raisins. Don't add it, don't put it in. Maybe try few chunks of chocolate, some glacier cherries. Make it your own. It's your dessert that you're making. Do what you want to do with it. I prefer mixed fruit. I prefer the traditional way. But everyone's different. Right, so that is what you should look like at the end of it. Now what you want to do is leave it for half an hour because all these dried raisins, sultanas and fruit peel is going to soak up some of that moisture it will become lovely and plump, lovely and juicy. So leave it for half an hour on your side. Get your oven turned on ready. Get your baking tray ready with your baking paper. Butter it up or put a bit of fry light on it. We're ready to rumble. 160 degrees for your oven. Right, so it's been half an hour now. What you want to do is get your baking tin or your glass dish, line it with baking paper, bit of butter, a bit of fry light, and chuck the mixture in here. Hopefully it's all going to fit. If I ain't, we should have to make two, haven't we? Chuck it all in. Smooth it all down. Don't put the sugar on yet. Put the sugar on when it's cooked. Because when it comes out, it ain't going to be burnt on top. Right, oven's at 160. Chuck it in for an hour and quarter, hour and a half. Take it out, put a knife in the middle. If it comes out clean, 
It's ready. If it ain't, put it back in for 10 minutes at a time. See you soon. Right, it's literally just come out of the oven now. I couldn't get it out of the whole piece because it's still quite wet, still quite moist. Best thing to do, leave it a cold down, cut it up, whack it in your fridge, leave it overnight, have it in the morning with a cup of tea, or a bit of custard, or both. Be rude not to try, wouldn't it? Oh, it's got a lovely crust on it. Nice bit of sprinkle sugar. Oh, I hope it make you proud, Mum. That's beautiful. Raisins and sultanas, the peels will plump. The sugar inside gives it a lovely sweetness. The lemon juice takes the edge of that sweetness ever so slightly with a citrus taste. Nutmeg and cinnamon are coming through beautifully. Oh man, you can't complain about this. You really can't. And if you don't like it, I want to know why. Because that, you can't argue with. Right, I'm going to sit here now and put my blood sugar up to a million. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Please give the video a like. Please give it a share. Let's show people what we can do. Thank you very much for watching. See you soon.